started out with one sign and uh, we went through about six of them stolen. So, uh, so you created a huge fan. <laughs> well, we started out with a smaller one then that people were actually crushing with the signs in it and stealing the signs. And uh, we installed the camera, got a couple pictures of people. Eventually, they even added this electrified fence. He's taking matters into his own hands with some fishing wire and string spray painted green. He set up a camera after the first attempt. It captured a woman on Tuesday trying to take off with the goods. But you can see she doesn't make it far. She loses her footing and lost her grip and she went flying. Trump signs aren't just being stolen. This one went up in flames, torched by a guy in his underwear in Platteville, Wisconsin. The signs owners were burned up, especially when they recognized Mr. Underwear. Oh, I think that's our neighbor, our tenant. Now ex-tenant. So many Trump signs are being swiped that yard sign defense techniques are being deployed. <sighs> Like using bike chain lubricant to make them slippery and messy, or worse yet, try dog poop, or replace your signs with something they can't steal. Another owner electrified his sign to zap a would-be thief. When he was done remodeling, he put one Trump flag in the window, and he got a letter from somebody that lives in this community that said, your house is beautiful, we love the remodel, but you have that, that Trump flag that you have in your window makes your house disgusting. So this is what he did in retaliation. <laughs> I thought, okay, so there's a Trump flag there, Trump flag there. He's got Trump signs all over his yard. If you look up by his front door, he's got a Trump up there. Look, look, all over his house. Every window's got a Trump flag. <laughs> this is so awesome.